Well, hello, Cancer. It looks like you're starting off 2024 with a clean slate. You have eliminated all of the distractions that 2023 brought into your life. And it looks like you're not the only one mastering this lesson. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome in. I was hoping to get your attention for just a moment to let you know there's going to be a change in release schedule. There's a very important reason as to why. So the Zodiac readings are going to be condensed down to element reading. So Aries Leo Sag will be released under the fire sign reading each week for the foreseeable future. Why is this happening? Well, my life is changing. I'm changing jobs, possibly relocating. So I need to shift my time around so I have enough time to do what I need to do to move my world. But it does give me just enough time to offer you one thing in return. I wanted to offer you guys something personal, something I've never done on this channel before. So if you are interested in a personal reading, there are general readings, love relationship readings, and twin flame readings that I am now offering to you all. Okay. I know. This is one for the books. There are links to those in the description box below. Hopefully I'll get a chance to interact with you there. And let's continue with your weekly video. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Cancer Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended, there's a link to it in the description box below. There's also information for personal readings if you're interested. North Star, flip your inner light switch. Number 19 reduces all the way back down to a one. So we're starting, I'm, I'm, interesting, we're, I'm here, we're starting a new era. There's going to be a completely new way of living. Okay. Never a crowd on the leading edge. Number 29 reduced to an 11. Number of mastery. Honor those who honor you. This feels like someone who 2023 showed them who's really on their, who really supports them. Everyone in your circle isn't necessarily in your corner. And it feels like this is a cancer energy who really saw the truth of what friends are really friends and who are actually frenemies, that kind of thing who's really in your life, that wants to be in your life. Okay, where's my tea? Mm. Okay, it's kind of thin the herd for you, but the thing is, it's what it's done, it's, it's going to be now life is going to have less distractions because the right people, places, things have now been cleared out. This is a great start to the year. Show me what's going on with cancer, please. Show me what's going on with cancer, please. <laughs> a lot's been going on. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. It almost feels like you have time and space in a way where you don't know what to do with yourself. King of Cups, that's Scorpio energy. Four of Pentacles, Empress. Card of Taurus and Libra, four of Swords, High Priestess, card of Pisces, four of four, four, four. Wow, Hermit, card of Virgo. So there's an Empress you are not speaking to. Um. Got it. I'm I'm reading this as you cancer. This is them. This is the situation. You would like to extend a love offer to this empress. The two of you aren't speaking to each other. Hermit and high priestess, they don't talk, right? They are silent wisdom and discovery. Okay. Your energy has now stabilized in a way where you could now advance forward in whatever direction that you want. Because again, the distractions are gone. Okay, the distractions are gone, and now you see an empress like, yep, that's the direction I want to go in. 
Let's see how the situation unfolds. Show me the details of the King of Cups, please. There you are. Can't cherry card of cancer hangman. Ten of swords, king of wands. There was some okay, so 2023 had some sort of battle of sorts that was strenuous. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Okay. Could have even made you angry. King of wands, Leo energy. Could have even made you angry. Um, I'm definitely hearing defensive. But it tied up your energy in a way where you couldn't move forward here meaningfully. Some of you still tried to find ways to hang on or attach in order for this to not be entirely lost. Okay. Okay. You might have even thought that one particular ending, once one particular ending happened, that that would be enough to close out when there was another one right behind you. Okay. Quite the year 2023 was for so many of us. Show me the details of the Four of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Ah, okay. So you actually see, Justice card of Libra, Strength card of Leo, you actually see where you, <laughs> you see what you were once one unable to see because of you were in the thick of it. Okay. Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Always. So now that you're out of the woods, you're seeing how trying to fit this together was just imbalanced to begin with. Okay, was just imbalanced to begin with. There's some of you who, if you experience passion with this empress, you finally found someone who's compatible in that area. That could have made you jump the gun on certain things, sure. Because that's exciting when you find someone who's compatible in that area, too. Shoot, that could have even been the kickoff originally. Yeah, it could have originally been the kickoff. Show me the Four of Swords for Cancer, please. Nine of Swords, King of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Nine of Cups, Emperor. Card of Aries. Okay. So you guys haven't been talking to the point where you don't know if they're single anymore. Hmm. Th this emperor is really popping out to me. Because it's gone quiet between you two for so long, you, you're you already thinking that there's someone else. It doesn't mean that there's not, but you're already thinking. Okay. We'll get into that emperor in a minute. Show me the four of cups, please. Seven of cups. Hierophant card of Taurus. Tower card of Scorpio energy there. Queen of Pentacles. There's nothing you could have done differently here that would have changed the game for you previously. It feels like it feels like you went through a divorce last year, honestly, with someone else that's not this person. Um, it honestly went through you went through some other breakdown. Of something that was established and committed in some way. Could it be a business partnership? Sure. Could it be a long-standing friendship? Sure. But oftentimes, Queen of Pentacles is the spouse. Okay. It often is a spouse. So it's like one thing crumbling, and I'm hearing and resetting in some kind of way. At the same time, this thing going silent. Okay. Um, so 2023 was the clear the path kind of year for you. Show me this emperor, please. Was this a person or an idea? Queen of Wands. Ooh. So 
it almost feels like you I don't know if this empress is particularly creative that I wouldn't put it past her. Um, but there's um because the Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, this is entrepreneurial goal setting sort of vibe. Um I don't know if you believe she's becoming her own boss or starting a company, becoming more busy um, or distracted kind of thing or the good kind of busy because it is her own business. It's almost like you're seeing this person level up in life and there's a fear on if this person is no longer accessible. So it's not that the emperor is another person. This empress is becoming an emperor. Interesting. Okay. Well, good for her. I mean, as a Taurus sun sign who's all about making money, I mean, highly recommend. <laughs> highly recommend starting your own business. Let's see what's going on with her. Okay. Show me the Empress, please. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords. There's some sort of significant payout from the universe going in this Empress's direction. It's a big one. I'm hearing it's a jackpot of some kind, or at least from her perspective, it's a jackpot of some kind. Hmm. It's, that's really interesting. <laughs> it's like, it's not just a win for her. It's like, it's also a karmic win at the same time. Because I even heard, like, it's a win against my enemies. <laughs> I didn't know this Empress had enemies, but now we know. <laughs> There's going to be some sort of, yep, freedom of choice moving forward where they don't have to stay where they're at if there's anything that's wrong or off in life they're going to be able to easily correct or move forward from it show me the high priestess please show me what she knows ah so she's been waiting on a particular change to be orchestrated by the universe there was fear on whether it would come or not Capricorn energy there with the devil, two of cups, three of swords. Strength card of Leo. Ace of Pentacles, if they just hung in there enough, something deeply meaningful would come in. Not necessarily a person. Again, this could be this could be something that they're building. They're, they were waiting for something specific for the universe to change the tide, turn this franchise around, start something that they knew this would happen. Whether, and it doesn't feel like it has anything to do with you specifically. They were going through something. They were going through something. Show me the hermit, please. All of the discoveries. Let's see them all. Star, card of Aquarius, page of cups, king of wands. It is noting here, okay, Star Card of Aquarius, King of Leo, King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups. It is noting here with the Page of Cups as well. Um, they do see, I hate to put it this way, because uh, no one likes to go in reverse like this. It's almost like what this person went through made them you guys kind of went through the same thing, but in different ways. They went through what they went through in 2023. And now they see those in their lives differently as well. So they could have seen connection with you a certain kind of way at one point. But as they went through what they went through and the t tide changed, like they knew it was going to change. They didn't know exactly how, but they knew it was going to change possibly taking them in a different direction. They, it's, they either see that you're exactly the kind of person they'd want to date or exactly the kind of person they'd want to befriend. Can you show me their thoughts and feelings 
of cancer, please. There's something here where this feminine is of some sort of understanding that your goals don't necessarily fully align in order to ensure successful compatibility. There's something where it's almost like this feminine is has become so powerful in their own energy, which is not a bad thing ever where they're kind of second guessing if they want to go any sort of traditional route or exactly what that looks like. What kind of partnership would even be best for them on top of what it is that they're building? Like, I don't know if I want to commit to anything or anyone because I don't know if I'm going to be moving my physical world. My physical world is going to be changing in some kind of way. Hmm. Okay. Just the seven of cups, please. It almost feels like they want to. It feels like this feminine wants to either like buy their own house or secure their own ten of coins, ten of pentacles, long term stability before they even think about partner shopping. That's what it feels like. Okay, that's what it feels like. What does Cancer want now that they've gone through a Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands? Not entirely sure. Because it's like, this person's like, I don't know if I ever want to get married. And you're kind of that way too. This is for a cancer masculine who views a romantic love relationship as a bit of a burden that they're not sure they want to undertake. But you would for them. You would for them. If you got any kind of indication from her, any kind of cue from her, You'd be out of your chair and in her direction. But you don't know if you should. Okay. All right, then I guess we'll go into her in the extended. If she's the one you get out of your chair for. When you otherwise are undecided. Then there, there's some sort of significant attraction something for you here. So I'll go into this Empress in the extended. If you are interested in um, any information about her when it comes to current energy, near future, or the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime, it will be included in the extended, along with advice, words between each other at this time, and timing. So, if you'd like to join, there's a link to the extended in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.